So I would say robotics is um, part of AI, really. You know, if you look back at the early days of, of AI, they were all about using robots to do amazing things. Um, the things that we're seeing today that are on market for AI are mostly things that do not involve physical presence. They don't have to act in the real world. They don't have to touch things. So that's what robotics does, is it really brings kind of this virtual world together with our physical word, world, and that's a lot harder. So um, we are not going to see these tremendous, really super fast advances in robotics the same way we have in AI. There's just not that much low hanging fruit and when you have to work in the real world and things are unstructured and you want to be really careful about people, it takes longer. Waving to the camera, what's next on your mind? Um, tell us about your face and how it works. My face features custom-made, hand-painted eyes with high-resolution cameras capable of quick movements. The mouth has two-axis jaw movement and can lip-sync to audio, with detailed expressions like eyebrow movements, natural blinks, and mouse crinkles, undesigned for lifelike interactions. <laughs> Striking a pose. What's next on your agenda? Is there more you wanted to share about that? And he built two identical hardware robots. Team A is using the NPC model based control, and Team B is using reinforcement learning.
just like you see technology advancing in, in all different aspects, there are some things that have happened that have enabled us to make advances now that we weren't making, even though we had maybe even the same ideas 10 or 15 years ago. Now, because of advances in computing and we can compute and do things so much faster, some of the things that we couldn't do before, we could do today. So for example, all the advances in AI are really due to advances in computing because we now can process all this data fast enough. We couldn't do that before. And the exact same algorithms that we were developing when I was in graduate school and they kind of petered out, now those same simple things are giving these, us these amazing results. And that's actually enabling a lot more applications and um, advances in spaces that we never had before.